Live from WPRI 12, this is The Road Show. And good morning, everybody, and happy spring. You're like taking a live look outside at North Kingston this morning on this beautiful Monday morning. Spring is in the air, and it actually feels like it for the first time. It's not raining out. We're outside today. Just myself, Brendan here today, all this week. It's good to see you. It's good to see you, and uh, you're, you're right. I feel like it's been raining since February 3rd. I know. Every single day, cold, right. dreary, dark, gloomy, right. and I joke about, you know, those things sure. also describe my soul. I'm only kidding. I want some sunshine, and here it is, it, buddy. It feels good. Look, today's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day today. If you're lucky enough to have the day off, some folks are. You may have gone to the marathon. Other people will hopefully have the day off, or maybe even vacation, because this is a big uh, vacation week for kids. Too. Have you ever been to Boston on Marathon Monday? I have not. I was thinking, I was in Boston yesterday thinking, you know what, I wish I was there. My wife would go up occasionally yeah. and would be uh, be there for the marathon just to see it. And my kids live on the route, mm -hmm. so they're going to go today. And I'm kind of jealous because I'm not there. Because Anne -Marie, my wife, Anne Marie, was saying, she said it is so moving yeah. when these people are coming across the finish line, whether it's whether it's the pros who have been doing this for a long time, or even some of the, the folks who are in the military doing right. it. I mean, they're running in full gear, it's which is unbelievable. And there's a great energy in the city. I've only been once. I went to the Red Sox game, which uh, maybe like my first the second year here on the right. road show. I took the day off. I know you remember it very well. You remember the days I wasn't here. <laughs> yes. They're the better shows. And uh, I, I remember the energy in the city just being very palpable yeah. and a sense of pride and fun and everyone's in a good mood and also moving at the same time because you remember right. certainly so many uh, people historical who have been yeah. significance. Right. And um, I know, Will, that I'm getting older because we're excited about the weather. Yes, like, well, We're excited that it's going to be like 70 today and it's like, oh, that's how I know I'm getting older. That's one conversation when you see something <laughs> who we haven't seen a lot of people like oh the weather's it's yeah gonna be, it's going to be beautiful Boy, it is yeah, but you wow well, look at you look as you know <laughs> i normally spend friday nights drunk texting exes from my couch it happens i'm, I'm kidding i haven't done that in like six months right <laughs> but i was on cloud nine last friday all day sure because you know that night i went to see bruce springsteen and his legendary. Wait yes. till you see. Look at the footage. Look Will. at this. Heart stopping, booty shaking, Look earth quaking, history making, E Street Band at Mohegan Sun. And oh my God, Will, it was absolutely electric. Here's some video I shot what? from Mohegan Sun Arena, which really is a great place to see oh, a show. You know, Mohegan Sun is a great place to see a show. It's it's every seat is a good seat in the house. First of all, it's easy to see. You don't feel like you're 75 miles away from uh, from wherever you're going to see. So he was not. Wasn't he performing? usually in the round? No, he's usually at the oh, end of the stage. Okay, all right, okay. That's been the configuration they've had for a while, and oh, it was just so much fun. There's nothing that moves me like a live concert, right. especially when it's one of my favorites like Bruce Springsteen. And he said he sounded great, right? He sounded unbelievable. Well, you know, I was reading a, a bunch of stories because, I mean, he had he, he wasn't feeling well uh, not too long ago. Bruce wasn't feeling well not too long ago, and then he was having concerns he's, you know, because of his age, and, and he was said he was he's having trouble singing, but he was still rocking. Back with a vengeance. Right. And he Got, he posted on his Instagram story. He got a flat tire yes. on the way to the right. gig. And right. I, thought, I thought, I'm coming. So I will funny. bring you to the show. It's, it's so funny. But uh, just Mohegan, great venue, great place, and not far. Not easy far, to go easy see to a show to and a great time. And everyone knows about my obsession with Metallica. Right. Like, I've seen them 68 times. Right. Everyone. This was my 14th Bruce show. Wow. And I remember the first one I saw was TD Garden about uh, a little over 10 years ago, 2012. And I had always been a casual Springsteen fan. I went to the show, and like he says, I was transformed yes. by the rock and roll. His show is so moving, so passionate, so filled with energy, and so good. I never thought a music show could move me like Metallica, but Bruce did, and I've been a massive fan ever since. You know, I heard him saying that, because Bruce is probably still singing it, because his <laughs> show's going like, but he said he has to keep up, because McCartney sings solo, and is 80-something years old, so he said, I have to keep up with Paul. And he does, and right. he's doing very well. Right. Someday, I will meet the boss. Yes. we got to make right. that happen. Right. But, uh, just a great night, yeah. and uh, I'm still I'm still floating. He's he's still high. He's still got his uh, his do rag <laughs> in his back pocket. I'm ready to sing "Born to Run" he right is. now. Any second, or Thunder Roadshow. So you. so it was a beautiful day, as many are getting ready today for.